The primary purpose of this study was to evaluate the impact of ischemia time, which is interruption of renal blood flow during a partial nephrectomy, and what impact that has on short and long-term uh, renal function. So when you perform a partial nephrectomy, which is removal of just the tumor and leaving the rest of the kidney in, uh, oftentimes you will need to put a clamp on the artery and the vein that go to the kidney in order to operate in a bloodless field and allow reapproximation of the defect you make when you remove the tumor. So the impact of how long that clamp remains on the renal artery where blood flow to the kidney is halted is the reason for this investigation. Our results uh, demonstrated that for each increasing minute it, when we evaluated the ischemia time as a continuous variable each increasing minute was associated with a statistically significantly increased risk for acute renal failure in the postoperative period and long-term chronic kidney disease, a new development uh, during long-term follow-up. Well, in the past, uh, about 10 years ago, most patients with small renal masses were being treated with a radical nephrectomy. And we and others began to publish information that if you, it was safe from an oncologic standpoint to just remove the tumor and leave the rest of the kidney in place. Subsequently, we have shown that it might even improve overall survival to remove just the tumor and leave the rest of the kidney in place by preserving better renal function. Because as, as your kidney function declines in a graded fashion, your risk of hospitalization, your risk of a heart attack, and your risk of death from any cause go up accordingly. And with this study, we found that the longer the clamp is left on the kidney or on the renal artery cutting off blood supply to the kidney, the increased risk you were to develop new onset chronic kidney disease. Well, I think this is a pretty definitive study. It included over 360 patients with solitary kidneys. It took 20 years of, of practice at the Mayo Clinic and the Cleveland Clinic where a lot of these patients were referred to to accumulate this amount of data. So I think anything going forward uh, would take many, many years to replicate this research. From a, from a patient standpoint, I would encourage patients who are having planning to have a partial nephrectomy to ask their surgeon if they plan if they're planning warm ischemia and if so, do they anticipate warm ischemia to be limited to 20 or 25 minutes? And if that is not the case, then they should consider an alternative approach. Patients need to be aware that the longer the blood supply to the kidney is interrupted, the higher the risk of developing kidney problems short term and long term. Perfect. The important message, and this is supported by the um, European Urology guidelines regarding ischemia on the kidney, is that if you are going to cut off the blood supply to the kidney and you're not going to put ice around the kidney, then you sh the ischemia time should be limited to 20 or 25 minutes. If you are planning to use or if you anticipate that you will need more than 20 to 25 minutes of warm ischemia, you should consider alternative methods uh, to protect the kidney.